How's it going everyone? Sean Goodison Productions here back with a brand new video and welcome back to my second e-bike. I'm sorry it took so long. The uh, company I ordered it from made it really time consuming to know that if one he was legit and two he didn't provide me a tracking number but lo and behold it eventually came. So here we are second e-bike number two on a Norco Shoreline or just Shore. Yeah not sure but anyway the mid-drive this one this time. So I've already went ahead and uh, upgraded the handlebars to I think it's the 60 or 70 mil high rise but it's close enough to be the 90 mil and for once I have a light that actually fits nice and comfortably right in the middle which it pleases me so much without having an extension bar that goes across like my other one does. Now as far as my other one goes uh, that one's kind of on the back burner for now. I am going to get a whole new kit for it because the uh, hall sensor for it right now is uh, kind of burnt and uh, the new one I got sent I did not know how to take out a hall sensor so I left to uh, me uh, dealing with this in a new way. Um, unfortunately the little rods that were attached to the uh, might have a little on screen description to kind of help me convey what I'm talking about here but the uh, rods that were actually soldered onto the hull sensor broke off because of the force I had to exert to get into the uh, into the hub of the uh, other one and uh, it was a lot more complicated than I thought it was and to no surprise with a lot of bending to do I end up uh, snapping the rod that was connected to the hall sensor particle board and it broke off in two different ways which made it pretty much uh, defective. I'm going to be buying a whole new kit because uh, my experience with hub motors is slightly getting more and more uh, knowledgeable but not to the point where I would be able to do something about it to prevent further uh, you know unfortunate events from happening but uh, Right now, it's kind of like a 50-50 that um, the whole sensor might be the culprit as we'll actually get to working again. So I'm just going to buy a whole new kit, and then that way I can have not one, but two Norcos side by side. Kind of, you know, flexing off the e-bike collection I'm gathering here. I love having them on board because uh, when one PEV goes down, it's always essential and nice to have another. Especially a bike. So, back to the topic at hand. Um, I'm sporting my 52 volt which I had on my Norco Atomic but that's got the 72 volt now this is the 52 volt this is a thousand watts so I'm pretty sure I'm not entirely sure that this could sport a 72 volt as well so I've yet to check into that more but right now I'm just happy to have a 52 volt up and going and uh, yeah that's uh, a lot from what I learned so now I'm gonna be getting myself a uh, I think it's a 32 or a 36 teeth uh, sprocket on the front which they say makes it very ideal for steep hill climbing and where I'm at kind of needs that kind of power and assistance so but yeah um, I took my uh, I borrowed my <laughs> other fender from my bike just borrowed a few parts you know that would be essential until I get that one up and running such as a, a back rear light and a front light. I got two of those now. I got one that's a 1800 lumen and this is a 1600 lumen. So uh, yeah, I don't have the front fender on there right now just because the kind of uh, front forks that these are sporting are the bomber. But anyway, I could go on and on about this but I'm just really happy I'm back out here making videos again and this bike is gonna help me get there until I get my uh, hub one up and going which will hopefully be soon. I don't know when that'll be but without much further said and to do uh, let's get back on the road and uh, enjoy everything I was doing before I came to making this video so let's go right now I'm on pedal assist one let's get that up to four make sure I'm in the proper gear yeah I'm kind of liking the both uh, uh, pedaling and throttling and throttling when I don't need to pedal just because when I pedal I get a quick start on the competition and then I can just like get right into it and also making sure I'm in a high gear not a low gear when I come to a stop because that will really put a bad strain on the motor as the videos that I've looked up have indicated to me so before owning this I have a few stops I need to make so I figured I'd be recording while I'm doing this but uh, yeah let's uh, get going uh, oh yeah that's better so okay oh 
So yeah, take a stroll through downtown. After we wait for this light allow me to do so. Ugh. So uh, I'm gonna go check out Ebenezer's, which is down that way. So let's do it. Oh yeah. And there we are. Okay, well, I don't think a recording will be very much appreciated here. So I'll see you guys on the other side. You don't know how much of something you miss until it's gone for long periods of time. Then when I end up getting something like this reinstalled or installed, it, uh, it really makes me um, bring out how much I miss doing this. Just because of how fast I can go, how far I can go. Because being stuck on a scooter, it's good, but the range is not at its best. Especially with the 36 volt battery. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I have never seen someone do rollerblading in such a long time. They're not really a hot commodity anymore. Reasons I do not know. But they used to be a regular sport or a hobby or just a way to get around. Mind you, if you wasn't careful about how you stopped, then you'd be in trouble real quick. <laughs> kind of like, but yeah, without seeing stalkers. Um, yeah, those are not really the hot thing around anymore. So that's why I see them around very less. Also, I wanted to give a huge shout out to. Uh, a group that I'm a part of that I'm going to be promoting at the end of my channel from now on or at least in every f very few videos and that's our group that we have going on Facebook which is called Vernon PEV group we do also have a YouTube channel known Okanagan PEV so the group is more specified generalized around this town slash the cold stream area but the YouTube channel is going to be based on whoever and whenever who wants to participate and uh, we're both 16 members in our group we're looking to expand more because as we discover that more people have unique devices on their possessions it would make it funner if we all got together at least I think so anyway so many people who are scootering one wheeling or whatever have it be they sometimes feel comfortable with just being their own unit for now for one of possible two reasons. One is they're trying to get comfortable with their device before they start showing off in front of a bunch of other people. Therefore, they don't have so many eyes worrying about them and looking at them. And secondly, uh, until they get more comfortable, then they can feel free to be part of a bigger group. Because we're noticing a lot of people who are uh, around using their PEVs already. And it just makes it overall fun. And it's okay if you're faster than us, slower than us. I mean, we always look out for the, the little guys. We always keep an eye out for them. It's just because if anything goes wrong, there's nothing more important than sticking together and making sure everyone's okay. But uh, I'll have all, all the channels and everything linked at the end of this video so you guys can go give it a check out. Yeah, we want to have more people in our group to share this experience with. This is going to be a little bit of a speed moment. So I'm going to go down here. Oh, okay. I'll take that as my cue.
be a shit come on. I was gonna go here, but then I saw how really busy it was. I don't need that kind of attention right now. Alright. Hmm. I'll just go up this way for now. <laughs> 